For the node failure demo, we have Kubernetes cluster running with 10 worker nodes with port books installed on all of them and provisioned 20 terabytes of total space. We have four broker Kafka cluster set up with each pod hosting two terabytes of space from Portworks and they are configured at replication of two at Portworks level. Three topics were created with varying replication factor at Kafka level and loaded with data. This screen shows the volume details at Portworks level for the four Kafka brokers. It shows where the volume is mounted and which nodes have the Portworks replica. This terminal shows the Kafka broker 2 is hosted on the node worker 10. The below terminals shows the four portbox volumes mounted on the four worker nodes. In this screen, on the right side, we see the Kafka broker logs for all the four brokers. On the left side, we have three Kafka clients where we will issue query against the three topics with replicate factor of 1, 2 and 3 and verify the query works. As you see, the query completed and pull back 20 million records from each topic. For this test, we will reboot uh, worker 10 to simulate the node failure. Before that, we will issue three queries against a Kafka topic to show the application doesn't fail during the node failure scenario. We are starting three Kafka queries extracting 200 million records from the three topics that has replicate factor of 1, 2, and 3. We just started. And we see the queries are running at this time. And now we will issue the reboot. So we are rebooting worker 10. It was restarted at 20.02.40 local time. We immediately see various error messages on the client running query against a topic that has single replicate factor because of the node failure. Other two clients are running without any issues because of the availability of the second replicate data at Kafka level. We do see only three brokers online and the queries are still in progress. Around 20.06.24, we see a volume mounted on worker 7. We see the fourth broker is back online. Indeed, the part broker 2 is running on worker 7. Portworks had the second replica for Kafka 2 on worker 7, and that is where the part restarted. And you can see the volume mounted on worker 7. At this time, we see the two of the queries completed successfully, extracting 200 million records, and the third one is still in progress. The Kafka broker log shows the broker 2 was shut down at 20.02.40 local time and restarted at 20.05.55 but was fully operational around 20.06.24 when the volume was mounted on worker 7. The console shows the Kafka application is back to normal with the third query still in progress. At this time, the third query also completed successfully extracting 200 million records. Summarizing the demo, node failure of worker 10 restarted the broker 2 pod on worker 7 without any impact to the Kafka application clients. This demo shows the power of portbox in combination with Kubernetes, enabling you to run high available stateful application. Hopefully, this is useful for you to build confidence in running Apache Kafka on Kubernetes on Portbox by Pure Storage. Thank you very much.